What's up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is The Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today I'm going to be doing a PayPal request for Red Blaze 27. This is the return of Castlevania. Castlevania Rondo of Blood, Opus 13. Now, uh, one of those games that I've always wanted to play but never have is the Castlevania series. And I've discovered a lot of good music through this channel because of that. And I have heard one and only song from this game and that's bloodlines it's actually one of my favorite vgms so that is what i have going into this so i'm excited for opus 13 it's extended so a couple loops let's go I really had a misconception of what I thought Castlevania music was, man. I really did. <laughs> Sounds like late 80s freestyle music. Is that an 808 bass? <laughs> it sounds exactly like a song from the 80s that I'm trying to remember right now. And that'll have down later. I think it's Herbie Hancock. I just don't expect this when I hear Castlevania. That bass is going absolutely crazy. When was this released? Opus 13? I'm just gonna pretty much jam out for the next five minutes. Hope you don't mind. To me, this sounds like it was made like in the early 90s. Early. 90, 92. It's, it's insane how much the bass's presence is all over it. It's like drenched. And it's rifting too, it's not just going boom, boom, boom. It's got little licks thrown in there. Damn, Blood Lines is sick. This is the second song I hear from this game, and it's <laughs> already so impressive. Stage 5. I'm 
really trying to imagine what the background would look like during this. It's during gameplay. Maybe outside? Or with a lot of vision outside, like a lot of windows? my friend this song. <laughs> yeah, it almost... It's all I keep thinking about is how much it sounds like that other song. I'm gonna have to do some some research before I say anything. Get my facts right. Very simple. Only like a couple melodies. It almost kind of reminds me of, um, like, Sonic 2 music. At least the percussion and the melody, not so much the bass. I'm even more curious to play this game. I've always wanted to play it, but now that I see that the soundtrack is so diverse, it's like almost like I need to play it. Alright, it's almost over. And then I have to go to... Oh, that actually does have an ending. Just a couple of extended loops. Okay, so before I say anything, well, I will say this. Damn. But let me do a little bit of research and I'll come back to you. So, one second. All right, I'm back. So I did a quick, quick research. I don't know how accurate this all may be, but this is just what I found. So this is composed by Mikio Sato, aka known as Metal Yuki, cool nickname. And Rondo of Blood was made in 1992, so I was one year off, but I was close. It did, I did say I had like that early 90s kind of feel, but I just kept thinking over and over and over. I'm like, this sounds like something. What is that something? And to me, that sounded like Herbie Hancock's Rocket. So I was right on the artist, I couldn't think of the title, but I'm pretty sure that whole song that we just heard was based off of this song. You can kind of, <laughs> maybe maybe it's just my ears, but that came out 10 years prior in 83. So that's all I kept thinking about. And in this song, Rocket, uh, especially in the early 80s, like bass was such a big deal. And it's loaded with bass in this song as well. So it's like, this is like some kind of homage but that's all i kept thinking about over and over and over even though it was a very repetitive song and there's not too much information to extract from it i just kept thinking i'm like dude this is rocket by herbie hancock like to the max which is so funny because it brings me back to the point i made earlier with castlevania now castlevania everyone knows of castlevania this is one of those games that people know of even if you don't know video games you know your mario your sonics and i think people just put Castlevania up there as well. I never played it, but I've always had an interest towards it. Uh, mainly because I like, you know, gothic stuff like that and just, I don't know. And the only, and the first song I heard from the game was Bloody Tears. And that song has a very distinctive style to it, almost classical. And then as I've dived 
dove, whatever the past tense is, as I dove deeper to uh, Castlevania music based on the auditorium, I've noticed that it's much more than that. The music is kind of everywhere. I've heard like popped sounding stuff and some metal sounding stuff. Uh, there's just like rap and hip hop type sounding stuff, dance. I'm like, I guess I, when I think of Castlevania, I've always associated my whole life with like organs and classical based on Bloody Tears. Dun, 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 right? So I was like, okay, that's that must, if that's the song everyone knows, that must be the song that everyone, or that must be the song that everything else bases it off of. That's That was my mentality. Obviously that was very amateur, but I'm learning that Castlevania music is kind of just no fear. And I don't know if it changes game by game, but it's just like, whoa. I, I honestly don't know what to expect anymore every time I hear a new Castlevania song. That song was completely like a dance hit. Opus 13, which I don't know what that means, but that was a dance hit, you know? Like that was a, <laughs> put that in a club and just throw it in a random rotation. No one's gonna be able to tell the difference. So uh, I'm, I was thinking two main things. I'm like, okay, well, this is nothing near what I thought it was gonna sound like. And two, I kept thinking it sounded like Herbie Hancock. So the, it didn't leave much cranial space for setting and mood. I don't know. I don't know. I was lost. I think Castlevania, I think, you know, the whip, moving it around, monsters, vampires, side-scroller. I'm like, where the hell would I hear that? Apparently this is a stage theme, stage five. So I'm like, I don't know. I really don't know. So if I wasn't curious about Castlevania before, <laughs> let me tell you. I am so intrigued now, especially with the music this diverse. This is crazy, in a good way, but just like, whoa, you know? I got like over two decades of me thinking something, and now I'm slowly realizing, hmm, maybe not. Having an epiphany type moment. That happened when I heard um, Symphony of the Night, and it was, oh god, Wandering Ghosts, right? I put that in my, my top 10. I wasn't expecting that, <laughs> but that's the joy of this channel, I guess. It's just me. This is why I did this channel. This is all those games and songs I may have not heard. I've just been missing out for years and years and years. So in some funny irony, my ignorance, my entire life of not playing these games has proven to me my, has proven to be my greatest benefit in my life, <laughs> which is now my career. So, I don't know, I got a little deep there, but th I'm just saying, this song was great. And I'm almost positive it was inspired by that song. And if it wasn't, then it was just cool on its own because the bass was just kind of outstanding and kind of all over the place and it had riffs and it was just so like, the signal of it was just so clear. It wasn't really like actually bass-y I didn't have low frequencies, it was just the bass section. I got really nothing else to say. I'm just more surprised and shocked about what just happened. And I guess I just really didn't know anything about Castlevania. <laughs> I know there's a rap album, I know there's... I don't, I don't know, man. But... Yeah. At least I'm proud of myself for saying that it was close to the year. I was, I was off by one year. There's just, there's just certain sounds, some decades and early sounds, you know, stuff from the early 90s sounds way different from like mid 90s to like, you know, late 90s. That happens with every decade. You can kind of pinpoint the, the eras, at least, at least I can. <laughs> so, anywho, thank you Redblaze for the request. If you want to do the same thing, you can do so on Patreon or PayPal. You can send me a VGM there. And it's not necessary, but it just guarantees that I will check out your song if you don't mind waiting. Speaking of waiting, if you do not want to wait, there's the Platinum tier, which expedites your request to the top. Uh, I'll get to it ASAP. And a big uh, shout out to the supporters that I currently have. Fly, Justin, Orange, Rogue Monk, Vincent, and Jester. And a big thanks to all these people as well. And to you for watching and all the Castlevania fans and the VGM lovers. My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. Peace.